edition of the Texas Tech TV pregame show. Courtney Davis alongside Adam Doyle. The Red Raiders coming off a huge win last week over UTEP here at Jones AT&T Stadium, 69 to 20. The offense looking like a well-oiled machine, Adam, and quarterback Patrick Mahomes takes home co-offensive player of the week for the conference. But it was really the defense for me who kind of emerged this week, only giving up 20 points really coming out for David Gibbs. Right, it was the second half that they looked really impressive. First half, it was a back and forth game, but they, they really dug in there in the second half and, and kept that game you know where it was so Texas Tech could continue scoring. And that's gonna be the focus this next week. Continue create turnovers, find a way to do it in the first half, make sure to slow down a, a tough rushing attack from Arkansas this weekend. No doubt Arkansas is going to bring in the rushing attack, but really last season when you played the Razorbacks here in Lubbock, it was penalties and really getting in your own way that really hurt Texas Tech. It's been a really clean couple of games, and, and Coach Kingsbury has said that really speaks to the confidence of this team. Right. It, talk to Dre uh, Washington right after the last game, and he said, you know, this is what they focused on the entire offseason was penalties and turnovers. Let's not beat ourselves, and we can score as quickly and as prevalently as we have so far this year. So they're really breaking out. If they're not moving backwards, we know they can move forward really quickly. So the thing for them is, is to make sure they're on the field because Arkansas will dominate the clock if they can. So Tech is going to have to be efficient and not kill themselves this weekend. Coach Kingsbury spoke on the Razorbacks. We'll get his thoughts. It's a great rushing team still and, and they have a great running back. He's one of the best players in the country. Their offensive line is one of the most physical in the country. So I expect to see a heavy dose of that and um, I think they'll be just as good as they were last year. It's just we have to improve and, and be better. You know they, they have a great tight end. They have great wide receivers so I, I think Toledo must have been doing something. They felt like they could take advantage of that. Um, a lot of it looked like to me a lot of the uh, throws were attached to running plays, bubble screens, things of that nature. But uh, their quarterback's one of the most underrated players in the country, I think. Uh, I think if he played in a system like ours, he'd have gaudy numbers. They just ask him to do different things. Where do you feel their offense sits maybe a bit different now that they've welcomed in some new changes this season? Right, they got a fifth-year starter at quarterback, a lot of experience there. But they had a really, really tough injury this last week. As Keon Hatcher, NFL-type wide receiver on the outside, he goes down for six weeks, obviously won't be available in this game. But Hunter Henry. They're all American tight end. He has really been a key factor, especially at the end of last year, but early this year as well. They like to throw the ball, which has been so different uh, from what we saw last year. They threw the ball 52 times in their loss to Toledo last week. Kind of had to because Alex Collins, their star running back, was not feeling too well, but they threw it so many times, and that's not really what we're used to seeing from them. But offensively, they're such a talented team. They still had four, over 400 yards of offense. They just couldn't quite put it in the end zone. I think if Tech adopts that model that Toledo had last week, pack the box, slow down the rushing attack, make them throw it, put them in tough situations, then they're going to be successful. These guys are definitely ready for what will be the first road test of the Red Raiders 2015 season as they head to Fayetteville. And it's a challenge, though, that DeAndre Washington and Micah Alway really feel like their team is ready for. Just gotta just make sure everything's on point as far as the signal wise communications from you know from O line, D line, you know, all across the board. So just just gotta make sure we're on point during practice. Get the young guys just to make sure that everything is more mentally focused than than you know than uh than it usually be just cause, you know, we're on the road, you know, little mistakes can cost us and one mistake can, can be the the game changer. Well, kickoff is set for 6 p.m. Central time at Donald Reynolds Razorback Stadium in Fayetteville. Adam, for you, what's it going to take for the Red Raiders to walk out of Fayetteville with a W? Tackle in space. Make routine tackles on the outside. I mean, we talked about it earlier. Arkansas ran it at them mm -hmm. so many times last year, and they're going to try to do the exact same thing. I don't know why they wouldn't. So tackling in space. Guys on the outside, Justice Nelson. Keenan Ward coming up from the secondary. They have to be able to make routine tackles and one-on-one -on -one tackles. They expect to stop this offense and be able to give their ball, or excuse me, the offense, the ball back. We'll keep up all weekend long here at Texas Tech TV or on Twitter at Tech Athletics, at Tech Game Day, or at Texas Tech TV as well. We'll have all your recap for you following the game, and then make sure to tune in for Coach Kingsbury's weekly press conference on Monday at 11.45 a.m. live on TexasTech.tv as the Red Raiders look to the first Big 12 test of the season with TCU coming to town. We'll see you then.